Hey guys, welcome back to another cleaning video. The house is a mess, complete disaster. We have um, all of this workout because we just finished with homeschooling. So that's why the counter looks like this and I do need to like put away dishes. And if you watched like my last cleaning video, then you already know what's going on right here. But if you're new, I created like a cave for the kids. I mean, it was bigger than this, longer. It went from one room to the next and it was like a tunnel so we had sheets up and yeah the kids they were just having fun but they're not using it anymore they are outside now because it's really hot outside so they are riding bikes and just playing in the yard i'm not really playing with this anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up it's been like this for about two weeks or three has it been three weeks? It's been up here for a pretty long time. Let me show you guys my daughter's room. Oh my goodness. Look at this space. This is an all the time thing too. I can come in here and completely clean this room. Just have it spotless and pretty. And within, I would, I would give it a day. And it'll look just like this all over again. You know what? I'm going to have to do what I used to do before. Um, I used to like get all of their toys and put them in containers and only take out like maybe 10 things at a time and that way they can just play with those items and when they get tired of them we can rotate the toys out put away whatever they don't want to play with anymore let them take out some new toys from the um, container and um, you know, just keep that rotation going. We also have a sponsor for today's video, guys. I am collaborating with Pro Scenic to share their new cordless vacuum. This is the P10. It does come with a wall mount. You do have to use that if you want to keep it upright like this. If not, it'll just fall over. So you do have to mount it to the wall or just take the handle off this um, top part and just lay it flat on the floor, which is what I've been doing. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it in my laundry room so I don't have mine mounted just yet. I believe it's supposed to last for about 45 minutes but that's if you're using it on low power and it comes with these attachments here. You will see me using these attachments in the video. I will have the link in the description box if you want to learn more about it. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning this messy house. I don't know how much I'm going to finish. I hope you guys enjoy watching. So full of self confidence. Everything you said made a lot of sense I thought I was too cold to ever love again But every single word cut through the rain We see the distance grow So once a week, I like to clean underneath the cushions because we do eat in this space when we're doing movie nights. We'll have popcorn, pizza, just snacks. <laughs> we cannot go out to the movies right now. Um, so we just have movie night at home pretty much every single weekend. So I do like to take off the cushions and vacuum. I was pretty surprised that it wasn't a complete mess underneath these cushions since I haven't done this in a while. But there were some crumbs that I had to tackle. I do have my daily cleaning routine and my weekly cleaning routine and this is definitely something I just tend to once a week I hear your laughter from within you can light up any room without going in funny how just a few letters in a row can turn into a smile and now you can let go so the glass cleaner I am using is the Sprayway because I ran out of my Hope's Perfect Glass Cleaner. That one is my favorite, but um, like I said, I ran out and when I was in the grocery store, I saw this one on the shelf, so I decided to pick it up. A lot of people rave about this glass cleaner, so I figured I'll give it a try. I do see what the hype is about. It is a really good cleaner. Um, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite just yet, but they are both really good. I do believe the spray way is a tad bit cheaper than the Hope Perfect Glass Cleaner.
Okay, so it's been a few days and we did go through some of the toys, but I'm going to finish it off. Um, I'm going to finish up the space. I let the kids go outside and play because I really don't want them in my way. So I'm going to tackle this laundry right now, pick up all of this stuff that's on the floor, vacuum, make the bed, decorate. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and work on this room. So yeah, let's get started. All right. Ooh, baby, just hold tight. We're up the moonlight. In the magic on side, we'll make it feel just right. Just look at that bright light, believe in the magic, and we can save you from your past. This bond is always gonna last when nothing else makes sense. Just dance. What you gonna do? I do want to mention that this vacuum comes with four different speed settings low medium high and super high if you use super high your battery is gonna die out within 10 minutes so um, that's not too great but I don't feel like you need to use super high speed um, like when you're doing carpet because I do like to turn up the power when I am vacuuming my carpet but I do feel like if you're on medium or even high um, you will still get a good clean and you can get maybe 20 to 30 minutes of use with this so i just wanted to mention that the lower your speed the longer your battery is going to stay charged on your vacuum So I am done. It is nice and clean in here. I still have some things I want to do like um, hang up some curtains and just play around with the decor. Put something on this wall but I'm not going to do it right now because it's pretty late. Um, it's the kids bedtime so I had to stop. I might move this from in front of the bed. Not really sure yet. I was thinking about putting it in front of the window. But I do need to come and like do some kind of DIY to it. Maybe put some of the bling that I have from Dollar Tree on this because I could not get out this marker. I tried to use a magic eraser, but it didn't work. So yeah, if I cannot get this out, then I'll just cover it with some bling. I think it'll look really cute if I cover it with bling anyways. But yeah, I might put it in front of the window. Not sure yet. My main focus was just getting the toys up off the floor. I have to go out and buy some um, containers so I can do like my system for organizing the toys, putting some away. But it's cute so far. It's going to be even better when I'm completely done with the space. And I will keep you guys um updated on that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video um i hope you enjoyed watching thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you in the next one bye guys